Can I just be honest with you guys for a second? I feel kind of guilty being here in Mexico, especially since I'm not on vacation. I'm technically here as a digital nomad working remotely. But on the flip side, I'm also very proud of us for being here. To build a life where we're working as a digital nomad took a really long time. I would say it took almost like four to five years to go from my previous life where I was kind of landlocked to moving to this life where we can kind of work anywhere in the world, travel to new countries every two to three weeks. So I thought it'd be fun to explore that topic with you in today's video. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour around Puerto Vallarta because what's the point of building a life like this to not be able to go and experience new countries while you're there? <laughs> Hello, love. Hello, love. We, we were at the grocery store and the woman was like, hola. I meant to say hola back, but then I said hello, but then it turned into hello-la. Now that's what we say on this trip is we say hello-la to everyone. So hello-la, friends. What's your favorite part about Mexico so far? I mean, the warmth, the mountains, the ocean, all of it. Hey, Lucas. Do you want to go for a sea ride? I want to go for a sea ride. He wants to go for a sea ride. All right, we'll go for the sea One, two, three. Was this a good decision? It was a great decision. Okay, quick little story time here. So I'm gonna call it out. I didn't really have a traditional nine to five job, but in my case, I had all the trappings of a traditional nine to five, but honestly, it was kind of like even worse because most of the time I'd be working into the evenings and on weekends. And at that point in my life, when I first started my company, most of my clients were government clients. So I was making a lot of videos of like people smiling and also things like, wastewater management videos. I am dead inside. So I specifically remember watching this movie called Into the Wild. And if you guys have not seen this movie, first off, you should definitely go watch it. It's absolutely incredible and read the book. It showed me that people have different ways of living. And I was fairly young at the time. And I thought you had to have a nine to five job or if you built your own company, you just worked all the time, got a handful of vacations per year. And that's just like how you do it. So I was like, whoa, I have control over my life. I can choose to be happy, I can choose to do the things that I really want. So that kind of kick-started something in me to start building a different life than the one I had. You have any thoughts on that? Into the Wild is a great movie. That's all you got from it. <laughs> <laughs> so to summarize that point, Lucas, if I was being honest with myself at that time, I think I just realized I wasn't happy with what I was doing and I wanted to change something. some more to tell you. Okay, so I very much had the goal of wanting to travel and see the world. Well, I'm still on this planet, and I mean, who doesn't have that as some sort of goal? But that's a very, very easy goal to always keep as a dream. One day I get to do it when I'm retired, and then you never end up doing it. So if I actually wanted to do something, I had to have a plan. I did a bit of an audit on my business, and I think this is something that you should do too. Take an audit on your life, or if you're an entrepreneur, take an audit on your business. And one of the things that I realized is that I can only make money from the clients that were in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, because all my clients were government based. That means that I always had to be in Toronto if I wanted to make a paycheck, which means I'm not traveling anytime soon unless I'm going on vacation. That's a bit of a hard pill to swallow because it means that it's gonna require a lot of work. At some point, I'm gonna be making significantly less money and it's gonna take a really long time. You wanna go in the water too? Your wallet! <laughs> Hello, oh, aren't you, sweetie? Hi. Hi. It's a great day. Cedars and small dogs. I love puppies. We're gonna go into the downtown core and go and explore there, find some cool streets, take some photos, tell you more of the story, and eat some tacos. Okay, we were just walking and we saw this massive iguana, like. Oh, buddy, look at it, and its tail is so sick. This is so cool. <gasps> they climb trees. What? They climb trees? Did you know this? Yes, I did know this, but it's so cool. You're so stoked. Yes, this is awesome. All these things are happening all the time around us, 
and it's literally your decision to go out and seize them. Where are you from? Canada. Gracias. <laughs> Welcome to downtown Puerto Vallarta, everybody. So I had to find a way to make money that wasn't location dependent. So I knew some people were making money on Instagram. They were making money by doing sponsored posts or working with clients that way. So I was like, you know what? Let's let that be one of the avenues for revenue and how I can make money. And hopefully that means I won't have to be location dependent. So I went all in on Instagram while also running my company and working, you know, the 60 or 80 hours a week on top of also posting online for free to hopefully one day get paid. So I kept posting and for one year I kept getting jobs and slowly growing my account to the point where I got my first collaboration offer and drum roll, here's how much I got paid for my first Instagram post. A hundred and fifty. Dollars. And that's not a lot of money in comparison to, in full transparency, I was making six figures a year with my agency and all my government clients. So I recognized that opportunity, even though it was only $150 and I went all in on that project because I saw that I could create that anywhere and the company loved it. And they came back and they're like, we'd love for you to do some more influencer posts, but also we'd love to pay for content creation. And that's when I got my first big contact and contract to be able to create anywhere in the world that wasn't location dependent. And eventually I started slowly slotting out the government clients and inserting the new clients that I was getting and eventually transitioning to this new life. So you have to find clients that allow you to create anywhere. So for example, in our case, one of those clients actually happens to be the sponsor of today's episode, and that is Storyblocks, and we love Storyblocks for that reason. Now, Storyblocks is an all-in-one platform that allows you to tell whatever story you want, when you want to, without sacrificing time, budget, or resources. For example, we are in Puerto Vallarta today, so we can just go online, search Puerto Vallarta, and we have a whole bunch of B-roll, so rather than like roaming around the city and trying to capture all that, we can actually enjoy more of our day, and then we have footage that we can slot in later. So having unlimited downloads to over a million royalty-free digital assets, such as high quality footage, illustration, templates, music, and sound effects with their unlimited all access plan, means that you can tell whatever story you want when you want to. And maybe that story is your journey to becoming a digital nomad. So head over to storyblocks.com forward slash Chris Howe to check out all their flexible subscription plans. Links are in the description. Thank you Storybox for sponsoring this video and being such a supporter of this channel. We appreciate you because you allow us to create videos like this. Okay, so I saw this spot on TikTok that looks really cool, and you can actually sit and have a drink in the water. Oh. Okay, life is good. It's a fish. What's his name, Lucas? Pedro. Pedro. Never had a drink out of a fish before. Price is actually pretty reasonable here. It's like what you would pay at a normal restaurant in Canada, but now my feet are in a pool. So when I started four years ago, or essentially five or six years ago on YouTube and Instagram, it really wasn't like a standard career at the time. I remember when I was telling people that I wanted to do it, they didn't really understand it, but I knew there would be money in the distribution and the followers, because that's essentially what a lot of companies are paying for. They're paying for the eyeballs, but they're also paying for the content creation. The content creators are becoming the agencies now, they're becoming the, the media houses, they're becoming the full production companies that do all this marketing. And I noticed that trend early and started working towards it. But now there's definitely a lot more of a roadmap. This is a legitimate career and if someone tells you otherwise like don't listen to them your life could change overnight with a piece of content so if you're serious about this if you're serious about a lifestyle change study the people that do it like I always like working backwards if there's someone I admire I'm like how did they get there and then work backwards from there because someone else has walked through the forest with the lantern so just follow in their footsteps just something to think about if you have a job where you're not doing this I think one of the biggest things that we learned from coronavirus and all of this happening over the last couple of years is that a lot of jobs are a work from home scenario because we had to adapt to that lifestyle. And I know a lot of companies are now asking for people to come back and work from the offices, but if your company has the ability to do a situation where you can work from home, that means your home could literally be anywhere in the world. If not, maybe switch to a different job find another employer that would allow you to work from home. So kind of do a cost analysis. I think this life is far more achievable than you actually think. Okay, so we just finished up. The whole meal in Canadian was like $54. Like, 
I spent that at Chipotle back in Canada. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Also, I thought I would mention, because it seems like a fitting time, if you guys are interested in learning more about essentially how I built this life where we get to travel every two to three weeks, get paid to travel in a lot of these cases, I actually built a course called How to Get Paid to Travel. And it should be like a little asterisk there without followers because this course details so many different ways that you can make money in the travel space or build a career as a digital nomad. And you do not need to have a social media following. So if you wanna learn more about that, links are in the description. And if you use How10, you'll save 10% on your checkout. A little gift to you. I just thought I'd mention it because it seemed kind of fitting for this video. Also, check out this car. I want to go in that. Do it. Okay. Seems like a good spot to close out the video. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, so at some point in your life, there's gonna be a moment when you're starting on this path that you have to let go of your previous life. I was chatting with a friend of mine named Sean Duris. Sean mentioned to me once when I was debating about leaving my government clients and going full into YouTube, he says, if you want to swing to the next tree, you're gonna to have to let go of the previous vine. And that really struck a chord with me because I had these super safe and reliable clients. They were government clients. I had these people literally for life if I wanted that. And it was super scary to let something like that go for the risk of what the future could be. And I didn't know what the future was gonna be at that point in my life. I really wasn't making as much money, but I thought this is what I really, 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 really want. It sounds kind of dark, but there's this thing that I subscribe to, this mentality that I subscribe to from the Stoics called Memento Mori. I've actually thought about getting a tattoo. And essentially it translates from Latin into remember that we die. I am dead inside. And I know it sounds kind of morbid, but for me, Death helps me prioritize things. It reminds me that time is finite. So while we're on this planet, you have to do things for yourself. You deserve to live the life that you want to live. That's your career, that's your job, that's the people you surround yourself with, that's where you live, sex, relationship, it doesn't matter what it is. You deserve to be happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little bit of a heart to heart here. If you did, please press like, it actually makes a difference. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos and we most definitely catch you guys in the next one. I'm gonna chill here, watch Sunset with Lucas and just take in that we were able to do this and you can absolutely do this too. Love you, bye. This has felt very safe here, but I still did not feel comfortable leaving this camera behind us. Oh, we shot that. <laughs>